Knowledge is power. How powerful are you? The Leon County Schools. 2012. High School Rainbow Finals. Where powerful minds collide. Who will be trials? Who will be loser? Who will be triumphant? And who will fall to defeat? Now, let the battle begin. Thank you very much. My name is Ronnie Youngblood, and I will be your host uh, this afternoon for the 2012 Brain Bowl. Uh, first, Sorry about that. Again, my name is Ronnie Youngblood, and I'll be your host this afternoon for the 2012 Brain Bowl. Uh, we want to congratulate our teams that are here today, representing the McClay Blue, and also representing Charles Maroon. Let's give them a round of applause for making it this far. Special thanks go out to our sponsors. Let's first let's start with Tallahassee Community College for allowing us to host the event over uh, on their campus during their spring break. So let's give them a big hand. <laughs> also, we'd, li we'd like to thank uh, Refreshment Services Pepsi, and also we'd like to thank, of course, Leon County Schools and the Office of Student Activities. Our Director of Student Activities, Mr. Ricky Bell, who is uh, very vital in putting this on all week. Let's give them a big hand. On behalf of the superintendent of the schools, uh, unfortunately he had an engagement that was not able to uh, get by. He may try to get by at the end of the, the uh, ceremony for the awards. We want to start out by uh, introducing our sponsors. And without these sponsors, of course, we would not uh, be here today and, and have this exciting competition. So we're going to first of all, we're going to start out uh, one of our sponsors from the Envision Credit Union, Mr. Randy Arceo. Randy, please come up and say a few words. Thank you so much. Um, we are very excited to be here to sponsor this again this year, and we're proud supporters of um, the system since 1954, and Envision Credit would, and the Credit Union would like to wish both teams best of luck today. Thank you. Thank you. Again, that's Envision Credit Union. Uh, I'd like to call up at this time Mr. Dean LaBeouf. Mr. LaBeouf is with the law firm of Brooks, LaBeouf, Bennett, Foster, and Gordney to say a few words. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, it's been our pleasure to sponsor the Brain Bowl for a number of years now, and I just want to let McClay know that my son graduated in 2000, so we wish you the best of luck, but we're not leaning just your way because my daughter graduated from Childs in 2005, so we wish you both the best of luck. You've got great schools, and uh, we can't wait to see the competition. Thank you. And finally, our main sponsor would like to call up at this time, uh, Ms. Uh, Jeannie Booth from the Tallahassee Democrat. Thank you. It is our honor to continue our 36th year of recognizing academic excellence in our community, uh, not only here in Le Leon County, but throughout the entire Big Bend area. So again, good luck to both teams. Thank you very much. We appreciate all of our sponsors, and also we appreciate the uh, hospitality here at the Howe Center uh, for putting on this live uh, telecast. Uh, we'd like to let you know that the telecast will be uh, aired back on our cable uh, channel 23, so look for the listings, and uh, if you uh, had some friends or relatives who were not able to watch in today, you'll be able to watch that replay. At this time, I'd like to introduce the folks that's going to make this happen this afternoon. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce our uh, timer. And he's also the director of the Brain Bowl, Mr. Brett Paulson. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, not only he was the, the originator of the Brain Bowl, today is his birthday. Happy birthday. We're not going to sing. We're good. All right. Our timer today will be Mr. Michael King. And our moderator, who I'm going to turn it over to at this time to make it happen and get us going in our competition, Ms. Robin Leach. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start out by introducing our teams. We'll start with McClay, and I'll let the players introduce themselves. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Jacob Sherstrom, and I'm a senior at McClay School. Hello, my name is Mary Catherine King. I am also a senior at McClay High School. 
I am Vasilye Dobrosavljevic, and I am as well a senior at McClay. I am Jasper Bray, and like them, I am a senior at the McClay School. That seems to be a theme there. Now we'll go to the back <laughs> row. We get the cameras back there, and we'll see um, the alternates from McClay, Kush Patel and Robbie King, and the McClay sponsors, Paul Burke and Matt Schnippert. And then we'll move over to Childs. You want to introduce yourselves, Hannah? My name is Hannah Williams, and I am a freshman. My name is Wayne Zhao. I'm a junior at Childs. My name is Chase Belcher. I'm a senior at Childs. My name is Jeremy Jones, and I am a junior at Childs. And in the back row for Childs, we have alternates, Jeffrey Zhu and Nicholas Yang, and their sponsor, Andrew Schoenberger. So good luck to both teams today. If y'all have a seat, we'll go over some of the rules and get started. Thank you. Let's do it. And this is for the benefit of the audience, not for the teams, because you know all these things. You know it's double elimination. Um, McClay has not yet been defeated. If McClay wins the first game, we're done. If child wins the first, Childs wins the first game, we move on to a second game. So that's the way we'll work it today. For the audience as well, there are 15 questions. There's a toss-up worth 10 points. Bonuses, four, four parts, and they'll each be worth five points. If a team doesn't get all the bonus questions, we'll bounce back to the other team. Anybody have any questions before we get started? Good luck to both teams. I've enjoyed working with all of you. Take a breath. Toss up question number one. Who was the commander of the 42nd Infantry Division or the Rainbow Division when it arrived in France in 1917? This commander went on to win the Congressional Medal of Honor in the Second World War. After being relieved of command by President Truman, he said in Congress, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Mary Catherine? MacArthur? That's correct. Four-part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following World War II era Americans whose names begin with the letter M. One, um, A, most decorated soldier of the war with 24 medals from the U.S., three from France, and one from Belgium. B, author who fought with the Marines and later wrote American Caesar, a biography of Douglas MacArthur. C, heavyweight boxing champion nicknamed Rocky, who was drafted in 1943. And D, cartoonist who created the characters Willie and Joe. Identify each of the following World War II era Americans whose names begin with the letter M. A, most decorated soldier of the war with 24 medals from the U.S., three from France, and one from Belgium. B, author who fought with the Marines and later wrote American Caesar, a biography of Douglas MacArthur. C, heavyweight boxing champion nicknamed Rocky, who was drafted in 1943, and D, cartoonist who created the characters Willie and Joe. A, we have Marshall B. Miller, C. Marciano, D. Morris. You got C correct. Bounce back for A, B, and D. A, Murphy. No answer for B and D. You got A correct. B was Manchester, and D was Bill Malden. Score for that one. Score? Oh, um, McClay has 10 points for the toss-up, 5 for the bonus, and Charles has 5 for their bounce back. Toss-up number 2. Ad identify the author of the non-fiction novel In Cold Blood... <laughs> Vasilier? Capote. That's correct. Blood was the end of that one. That's all right. Four part bonus, five points each. Identify the American author of each of the following A. The Confessions of Nat Turner. B. The Executioner's Song and the Naked and the Dead. C. The Algiers Motel Incident and in Hiroshima. D. Exponent of New Journalism Who Wrote the Right Stuff. Identify the American author of each of the following A. The Confessions of Nat Turner. B, The Executioner's Song and the Naked and the Dead. C, The Algiers Motel Incident in Hiroshima. D, Exponent of New Journalism Who Wrote the Right Stuff. A, Styron, B, Mailer, C, Camus, D, Wolf. You got A, B, and D correct. Bounce back for C. 
C. Clancy? That's incorrect. John Hersey was the answer to that one. Score for that round. 10 for McClay for the toss-up and 15 for the bonus. And then uh, Childs, five for theirs. And uh, that should be it. No, they, uh, 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 Charles didn't get any. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Toss-up number three. The three co-winners of the 1997 Nobel Prize in Physics were awarded the prize for their work in developing ways of trapping atoms to cool them to within a millionth of a degree of minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. What term does it... Wayne? Absolute zero. That's right. Nice. Designates this temperature as the end of that. For part bonus, five points each. Answer each of the following. A. If two identical wave pulses meet in phase, how is the amplitude of the wave affected? B. What function does not change during an isochoric process? C. Young's double slit experiment allowed a property of light to be accurately measured. What is that property? D. What is the vertical component of a hundred newton, a one hundred newton force acting at thirty degrees above the horizontal? Answer each of the following. A. If two identical wave pulses meet in phase, how is the amplitude of the wave affected? B. What function does not change during an isochoric process? C. Young's double slit experiment allowed a property of light to be accurately measured. What is that property? D. What is the vertical That's component like the of a 100 newton force acting at 30 degrees above the horizontal? I think maybe. I'm not sure. A. Added. D. 50 newtons. C, um, it's where you have uh, two wavelengths of, uh, C wavelength. No answer for B. You got A, C, and D correct. Bounce back for B. No answer for B. B is volume. Ah. <clears throat> okay. McClay got no points for the toss-up, and Charles got 10 for the toss-up and 15 for the bounce back. Toss-up number four. In ancient Egypt, which god was credited with having brought agriculture to man? This, this same god, after being slain or... Mary Catherine? Osiris? That's correct. Oh, nice. Slain or drowned by his evil brother Seth and cut into 14 pieces, then became known as the Lord or Prince of the Dead, is the end of that question. Four-part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following in Egyptian mythology. A, ancient god of light and heaven. B, wife of Osiris. C, jackal-headed god. D, dung beetle that symbolized the sun god, Ra. Identify each of the following in Egyptian mythology. A, ancient god of light and heaven. B, wife of Osiris. C, jackal-headed god. D, dung beetle that symbolized the sun god, Ra. Let's go with Horus. Wait, that's not on it, though. Wait, shut up. Which one is this? this? Those are right, and that's a shot. A, Horus, B, Isis, C, Anubis, D, Scarab. Correct on all four. Ah. C. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up and 20 for the bonus. Toss-up number five. Give the term an art that is derived from the French verb for to paste. This term is used to designate a technique in which a variety... Jeremy? Fresco? That's incorrect and an interruption. I'll read it completely for McClay. Give the term an art that's derived from the French verb for to paste. This term is used to designate a technique in which a variety of objects are pasted on a flat surface. Mary Catherine? Collage. That's correct. <laughs> Identify each of the following concerning art. A, three word phrase for a representation of the Virgin Mary holding the infant Jesus. B, term for a representation of the Virgin Mary mourning the body of the dead Christ. C. Day of the week that completes the title of Georges Seurat's 1886 painting, Blank Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. And D. Last name of the very late blooming New England American artist born Anna Mary Robertson. Identify each of the following concerning art. A. Three-word phrase for a representation of the Virgin Mary holding the infant Jesus. B, term for a representation of the Virgin Mary mourning the body of the dead Christ. 
C, Day of the Week, that completes the title of Georges Seurat's 1886 painting, Blank Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. And D, last name of a very late blooming New England American artist, born Anna Mary Robertson. B is Pieta, C is Sunday, D is Cassette, and um, A is Madonna and Child. You got A, B, and C correct. Bounce back for D. No answer for D. D was Grandma Moses. No. That's why she was very late blooming. Very, very good on that. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss up and 15 for the bonus and 5 for the interruption penalty. And Child's got zero points. Toss up number six is your first math question. You'll have 10 seconds to buzz in. Ready? If a right circular cylinder has a diameter of 18 inches, what is the exact circumference of its base in inches? Vassal game. 18 pi inches? Correct. Four part bonus, five points each. Answer each of the following. A. What is the slope of the line perpendicular to the line with the equation 2x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0? B. What name is given to the graph of the equation x equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers? C. What is the sum of the infinite geometric series 1 plus 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths plus dot dot dot? D. What is the radius of the circle given by the equation x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 4y minus 3 equals 0? Answer each of the following. A, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to the line with the equation 2x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0? B, what name is given to the graph of the equation x equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers? C, what is the sum? I can do that. Pardon? Word in that. Read that one again, please. What name is given to the graph of the equation x equals mx plus b? Y. I did it again. What name is given to the graph of the equation y equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers? C. What is the sum of the infinite geometric series 1 plus 3 fourths plus 9 sixteenths plus dot dot dot? D. What is the radius of the circle given by the equation x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 4y minus 3 equals 0. All right, A is 2, B is linear, C is 4. Where's the radius? Time. You got A, B, and C correct. Bounce back for D. E, the square root of 23. That's correct. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up, 15 for the bonus, and Childs got 5 for the bounce back. Toss-up number 7. Identify the division of Oceania, or Pacific Ocean Islands, whose name, meaning black islands, is derived from a word for the... Jasper? Melanesia. That's correct. Blackish or brown pigment produced by the skin was the rest of that one. Four part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following concerning Pacific Ocean Islands. A, the group whose name means many islands, stretching from Midway Island to New Zealand. B, the group whose name means tiny islands, located north of Melanesia. C, largest island in the Pacific, not counting the island continent of Australia. And D, Islands where a cable car carries visitors across Pago Pago Bay. Identify each of the following concerning Ow. Pacific Ocean Islands. A, the group whose name means many islands, stretching from Midway Island to New Zealand. B, the group whose name means tiny islands, located north of Melanesia. C, largest island in the Pacific, not counting the island continent of Australia. And D, islands where a cable car carries visitors across Pago Pago Bay. All right, A is Polynesia, B is Micronesia, C is Java, D is Suva. 
You got A and B correct. Bounce back for C and D. C, New Guinea, D, Samoa. Can you be more specific on D? American Samoa. American Samoa. Correct on C and D. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up, 10 for the bonus, and Childs got 10 for the bounce back. Toss-up number eight. Which American poet, known for her sonnets, wrote the lines, April this year, not otherwise, than April of a year ago, in her song, in her Song of a Second April? She won a 1923 Pulitzer Prize for her collection of verses contain, a verse, her collection of verse containing the poem, The Fig, which begins, my candle burns at both ends. Mary Catherine? Edna St. Vincent Millay. That's correct. Nice. Good. It's about good. Four part bonus, five points each. Answer, identify the author of each of the following A, the 1915 novel, The Song of the Lark. B, the 1979 novel, The Executioner's Song. <laughs> Me C, the 1768 poem, The Liberty Song. D, the 1917 poem, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Identify the author of each of the following. A, the 1915 novel, The Song of the Lark. B, the 1979 novel, The Executioner's Song. C, the 1768 poem, The Liberty Song. And D, the 1917 poem, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. A is Cather, B is Mailer, C is Wheatley, D is T.S. Eliot. You got A, B, and D correct. Bounce back for C. C, Longfellow. That's incorrect. John Dickinson. Huh. Okay. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up and 15 for the bonus. And child zero. Toss-up number nine. What is the acceleration of an object that at one instant is moving along a line with a velocity equal to 2z plus z squared? Chase? Uh, two. That's incorrect. Oh, right. Vasilier? Two plus two Z. That's correct. Oh, That's correct. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Four part bonus, five points each. Sorry. Identify the following constants given their quantitative forms. A, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. B, 5.88 times 10 to the 12th power miles. C, 9.30 times 10 to the 7th power miles. D, 3.258 light years. Identify the following constants given their quantitative forms. A, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. B, 5.88 times 10 to the 12th power miles. C, 9.30 times 10 to the 7th power miles. And D, 3.258 light years. That sounds wonderful. Do you want to say that? You guys take that? Yeah, for both of them. Go for it. A, Avogadro's number, B, astronomical unit, C, astronomical unit, D, parsec. You got A, C, and D correct. Bounce back for B. B, light year. That's correct. Oh, that makes oh. sense. <laughs> for that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up and 15 for the bonus, and Charles got 5 for the bounce back. Toss-up number 10 is a current events question. In state government, give the name of the former Leon County School Superintendent, Jeremy? Munford. That's correct. Yes. Who has become the state senator for parts of Leon County was the end of that question. Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer the following concerning Florida state government. A, Lieutenant Governor. B, Speaker of the House. C, Senate President. D, Attorney General. Answer the following concerning Florida State Government. A, Lieutenant Governor. B, Speaker of the House. C, Senate President. D, Attorney General. Should I defer C to me? Defer on C. Herodopolis. Something. Spell it out. I can't read it. It doesn't work like that. Richardson for B. No answer for A and D. No answer time, okay. Um, 
you you said Herodopolis, but you didn't say what it was for. It was for C. It was for C. Can you bounce back for A, B, and D? Um, A, Atwater, B, Atwater, D, Bondi. You got D correct. A was Jennifer Carroll, and B is Dean Cannon as the Speaker of the House. For that round, McClay got five for the bounce back, and Charles got ten for the toss-up and five for the bonus. Toss-up 11 is your second math question. You'll have ten seconds to buzz in. What is the derivative with respect to x of four times the cosine of 2x? Vassal, yay? Negative 8 sine of 2x. That's correct. Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer the following. A, three coins are flipped together. What is the probability expressed as a fraction that exactly two of the coins will land on heads with the remaining coin landing on tails? B, the cosine of which positive acute angle is equal to the sine of 20 degrees? C, what does the log to the base 5 of 1 25th equal? And D, what is the fourth derivative with respect to x of 2x to the fifth power? Answer each of the following. A, three coins are flipped together. What is the probability expressed as a fraction that exactly two of the coins will land on heads with the remaining coin landing on tails? B, the cosine of which positive acute angle is equal to the sine of 20 degrees? C, what does the log to the base 5 of 1 25th equal? And D, what is the fourth derivative with respect to x of 2x to the fifth power? All right, B, 70 degrees, C, negative 2, D, 240X. All right, whatever, uh, A, two-thirds. You got B, C, and D correct. Bounce Sorry. back for A. A, three-eighths. That's correct. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up, 15 for the bonus, and Charles got 5 for the bounce back. Toss-up number 12. What Alsace-born philosopher, physician, musician, and missionary won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1952 for his accomplishments, one of which was the establishment of a hospital in Lambar, Gabon, Africa in 1913? Albert Schweitzer. Oh, sure. Of course. We had fun bonuses for that one, too. Sorry. Oh. So no points for that one. Toss up 13. When a fluid's motion accelerates, its pressure decreases. What is this principle's name? Chase? Bernoulli? That's correct. Yeah. Identify each of the following. A, imaginary reversible heat engine that operates at maximum efficiency. Yeah. B, full meaning of the acronym LASER. C, scientist who formulated the law of universal gravitation. D, formula for calculating the impulse of an object in a system. Identify each of the following. A, imaginary reversible heat engine that operates at maximum efficiency. B, full meaning of the acronym LASER. C, scientist who formulated the law of universal gravitation. D, Formula for calculating the impulse of an object in a system. A. Carnot's engine. C. Newton. I think it's this. Yeah. Um, D. Mass times the change in velocity. Um, B. Light amplification by stimulation of emission of radiation. <laughs> you got A, B, and C correct. Bounce back for D. Uh, D equals mass times velocity. That's incorrect. It's P equals F delta T. Okay. Oh, M delta for that round, McClay got zero, and Charles got 10 for the toss-up and 15 for the bonus. Toss-up number 14. Oh, can, can. No, no, just M delta go. There's no chance. Okay, Wayne, just calm down. Okay, fine. Whatever. Toss up number 14. Come on, Wayne. Which author, born Mary Ann Evans, 
Mary Catherine? George Eliot. That's correct. That's that actress Emma Thompson slam in her graduate thesis at Cambridge University for failing to create a true female heroine in her novels. So, this no. author wrote Adam Bede and The Mill on the Floss is the rest of that one. Four part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following concerning literature. A. Emma Thompson film based on Jane Austen's first published novel, which was begun as the story Eleanor and Marianne. B. Emma Thompson film based on John Osborne's 1956 play featuring Jimmy Porter and his middle class wife. C. George Eliot's 1871-72 novel subtitled A Study of the Provincial Life. And D. Eliot's 1861 novel subtitled The Weaver of Ravelow. Identify each of the following concerning literature. A. Emma Thompson film based on Jane Austen's first published novel, which was begun as the story yeah. Eleanor and Marianne. B. Emma Thompson film based on John Osborne's 1956 play featuring Jimmy Porter and his middle class wife. C. George Eliot's 1871-72 novel subtitled A Study of the Provincial Life. And D. Eliot's 1861 novel subtitled The Weavers of Ravelo. The Weaver of Ravelo. A. Sense and Sensibility. B. Anything Goes. C. Middlemarch. D. Silas Marner. You got A, C, and D correct. Bounce back for B. No answer for B. Okay. Look back in anger was B. For that round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up, 15 for the bonus, and Childs got zero. Okay. Toss-up 15. Which lawyer presented the legal arguments for Oliver Brown in the 1954 Brown versus Board of Education? Mary Catherine? Marshall? That's correct. Yes. He later became the first black justice of the Prince Supreme Court was the end of that question. Four part bonus, five points each. Answer each of the following associated with lawyers. A, American detective story writ writer who created the character Perry Mason. B, Washington, D.C. lawyer chosen by the Democratic National Committee as its chairman in 1989, the first African-American to head a major American political party. C, attorney who defended Eugene Debs in the Pullman strike, John L. Scopes in the Monkey Trial, and Loeb and Leopold in the Bobby Franks case. D, North Carolina senator known as the old country lawyer who presided over the Watergate hearings. Identify each of the following associated with lawyers. A, American detective story writer who created the character Perry Mason. B, Washington, D.C. lawyer chosen by the Democratic National Committee as its chairman in 1989, the first African American to head a major American political party. C, attorney who defended Eugene Debs in the Pullman strike, John L. Scopes in the Monkey Trial, and Loeb and Leopold in the Bobby Franks case. And D, North Carolina senator known as the old country lawyer who presided over the Watergate hearings. A. Grisham, C. Darrow, D. Brown, B. Reggie Miller. That's not my answer. That's not my answer. You got C correct. Bounce back for A, B, and D. Okay, Jeremy Lynn. Say it. Uh, a. no answer. Come on. No, no, no answer. No Lynn saying For any of them? Okay. A was Earl Stanley Gardner, B was Ronald H. Brown, and D was Sam Irvin. Oh, you kind of was Brown. Reversed, yeah. Okay. Oh. And you can say Johnny Cochran. Brown is right. Uh, grace. For that final round, McClay got 10 for the toss-up, 5 for their bonus, and Charles got 0 for that round. And then the running total for McClay is 265 points to Charles 95 points, and therefore McClay is the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you very much uh, for the competition today. If we could at this time uh, have the Childs High School team please come forward. And if we could have the coaches also please come forward. Presenting the uh, runner-up check and trophy. Uh, from Envision Credit Union again is Rudy Yaseo. Rudy? Let's give him a big hand. 2012 runner ups. Great job. All right, thank you very much. All right, and introducing our 2012 champions 
If you will please come forward in the McClay Blue and uh, their principal and coaches, please come forward. Mr. Bill Jablon is here, and we want to thank them for being here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, you have your 2012 champions for the Brain Bowl and introducing our Tallahassee Democrat sponsor, who will now be giving out, Ms. Jeannie Booth. Right. Check and a trophy. Checks for $2,500, and we thank the Tallahassee Grim Democrat for that. Once again, we want to thank everyone for being out this afternoon. We want to thank again the Leon County Schools, and on behalf of our superintendent, Jackie Pons, thank you for being here with us today in the Howell Center. Also want to thank our production staff for being with us today and making this happen. Uh, Will Christie and Mr. Denver Lee, who's running the booth. We want to thank them so much. And once again, congratulations, and we'll see you next year. So much. They're all seniors. They're all seniors. Wherever you may go. <laughs> Leaders of the future. Thank you so much. See you.